Hey ho, Winnie here, Fountain Pen News. I have something exciting to share, something very exciting. So I'm very interested always in, um, you know, history for one thing, you know, legacy, I guess I should say, and also um, nib grinding. I find super interesting and I have had the chance to talk to a couple of different people, but I came across on Facebook Marketplace of all places two uh, nibs for Pelican M200 that were customized by Richard Binder. And so I bought them real quick and they were out of state and I had to get my nephew, very kind nephew, to go pick them up and mail them to me, which he did. And now they're here and fitted on my two Pelican, one's an M200 and one's an M205. Um, so I was going to just show quickly what these are all about because one of them is kind of a standard, oh, it's kind of a leaky, inky situation too. This one is a, um, it was marked on the card as a cursive italic and it started out life as a medium. So it's not very thick, but it's pretty fun to write with. Pelican M205 and this one is medium cursive italic. It is not very crisp. I expect an italic, a, a true italic to be crisper. I think this one is supposed to be smoother, I guess. I don't know. His card didn't say smooth, but I think it probably is. Um, and this ink is actually Monteverdi iced cookie and I think it is such a great match for this pen I love it look at that so the idea behind this one is just like any cursive italic it's thick downs and thinner across so that is that one pretty rad and these are um, they both have two chicks on them so they would have been prior to 2003 or around then so they probably are 20 years old and I had a had some contact with Richard and he stopped doing nib work maybe 10 years ago so these have been hanging out in someone's house all this time unused so I'm so lucky that I got to cash in so this is the one I'm super super excited about it is called a condor nib. And I should have looked up to read you exactly what Richard said about it, because he told me exactly what it does. But I'll just try to show you. So you can see it's the gold nib. Let's see if I can show you the chicks. There are two chicks on there. I don't know if you can see them. But look at how the nib is pointed down, kind of like a posting nib. I understand that a posting nib looks like this. I accidentally did this to one of my nibs once and screwed a cap down on it and squished it like this. but. This is one that's intentionally like this. And so when I write with it forward, it's just like a, a fine, right? I would say fine or even extra fine. This one's called Orange Delight, I'm pretty sure. And I like that because I like the word delight and the color orange. Okay, so you can see there's nothing particularly special about that. But then the other side is designed to use almost like a brush. So if I turn, if I do a very high writing angle, it gives me a thicker line than forward, but not by much. And then as I lower my writing angle, kind of similar to the Sailor Zoom nib, that line gets thicker and thicker and thicker. So down here with the low writing angle, I can do these broad, thick strokes. I could, you know, draw something and then fill it in quickly with this. I mean, how versatile and awesome is that? This is just, I have been having so much fun with it, doing headings and writing all kinds of fun things. I've been writing with it sideways to get super fat line width and then adding little tiny line shadows on things. I am no artist, but this would be fun for an artist, I think. Um, so anyway, this video is dedicated to Richard Binder, the granddaddy of them all, I think, as far as you know, nib grinding is concerned. I think a lot of people really learned um, from him, and I have really learned a lot from looking at his nib grinding tutorials as well. So it's very exciting. Now they go with my legacy nibs, so I have... Um, these two Richard Binder nibs, and I have two Jim Rouse nibs from Franklin Christoph as well. So I am so lucky to have them, and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to ask any questions. If you have any questions or want to see something else about them, um, post it in the comments.
down there, and I will get right back to you. Thanks so much for watching. Pen News. Boop, 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 boop.